Chairman. Ms. McCarthy, I, I, I'm a freshman. I've been here for 16 months now, and, and I struggle sometimes with acronyms. Can you help me out? EPA, what does that P stand for? Protection. 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 Yes. Yeah, I thought that was the case. So I, just a second ago, I looked up the definition of protection. It says, a person or thing that prevents someone or something from suffering harm or injury. You would agree with that? Yes? Sounds right. Sounds right. So Environmental Protection Agency. Correct. Mrs. Ms. McCarthy, I'm correct when I say that, that EPA has the authority to warn the public when there's contamination in the drinking water that poses an immediate threat to human health. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. So you're aware of the June 2015 memo from, from Miguel Del Toro. You're, you're aware of that, correct? Of that memo? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So Mr. T Del Toro, yes. who we have established, and we established it two days ago when, when Ms. Hedman was here, he is a drinking water specialist. In yes. fact, he was a, a member, a key member of the Region 5 Safe Drinking Water Task Force. <laughs> Yet when Mr. Del Toro reported the high levels of lead in Flint's drinking water, the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, mm -hmm. they didn't do that. They didn't protect the public. They didn't warn the public. Instead, Ms. Hedman, she had a, a, a bunch of excuses, none of them which I believe, but she had a lot of excuses as to why the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, didn't take any action. No, none of them, none of them would have prevented, none of them would have prevented EPA from, from standing up and saying, hey, don't drink that water. It's got lead in it. Stop. Don't drink it. None of, none of the excuses she had would have prevented EPA from doing that. But EPA did not do that. They did not protect. They did not, they did not prevent someone or something from suffering harm. Will the gentleman injury. yield? I do not yield. Ms. McCarthy, you had an op-ed in the Washington Post. Yes. And, and you stated that the EPA repeatedly and urgently told the state of Michigan to act with a sense of urgency and inform the public. Is that correct? That's correct. Yet, it, it, as I understand it, you mean to say that, that you repeatedly told the state of Michigan to warn the public about the toxic levels of, of lead in, in Flint's public water, in, in their water? Is that correct? We repeatedly told them that they had to begin corrosion control. You know, that, a little that, while that, ago, that, you asked, you said, you know, I, I wished we could have done something different, yes. whether it had been by the law or through mm -hmm. common sense. Would common sense not have told you, hey, hey, stop drinking the water? Not, not at that point in time. Not so, at no. that point in time. No. At what point in time? The, the challenge was that you, you're referencing a report that, if you look at the final, clearly indicates that it was most likely a localized issue. I cannot so make So what Ms. Hedman did, no, she can sought I, a legal can opinion. I, can she I saw, just, well, that makes us all feel better. No, My sir, goodness. That's, I, that's I mean, not what she did. Not, she did. She sought a legal opinion on this. No, it, it, and, and I know everybody here feels much better about that because the Environmental Protection Agency, but we, we, we're going to make sure we got a legal opinion first before we tell these people stop drinking that water. This, this report was done after we had been working with the state to tell them consistently that they had to start corrosion control. But I cannot, nor could the but, region, but it, but base a decision. Ms. Ms. McCarthy, yes. corrosion control. Did I, say, did I say corrosion control, right? Oh, you did. Yeah, okay. Okay, but, but that's not what we're concerned about. Because at this point, we know there's lead in the water. Well, we knew there but was you lead gotta in, stop in it. one localized area, and we were concerned about it being what, And this, this didn't come from just some member. This came from a drinking water specialist. Yes, and, and his advice was heeded. His advice was heeded immediately? His adv we did everything he, was we it had available to us. Everything that you had available to you. So yes. you're telling me you got on TV and you said, don't drink the water. There's lead in the water. Don't drink it. No, because the only thing we knew was there was lead in three in a very localized area. Had I made the assumption using a, a presumption like a, 
Ms. McCarthy, I, I'm principle. sorry, I'm, I'm I, not, I'm not I'm with not you on this because, again, environmental protection no. agency, some, you're trying to prevent someone or something from suffering harm so or injury. We will, we will the look EPA, in, yeah. why don't we change the acronym? Why don't we, I mean, come on, let's, let's just change it to something else. Let's, sir, not, let's sir, take prevention out of there. <laughs> sir, the state did give the state, prim, the, the law did give the state primary authority. We the provided law. advice. The law. Assistance. Now, I don't think the anybody here cares about the law. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman you, yields Chairman. back. We'll now recognize the gentlewoman.